All right, this video has a lot going on into it. This is like the definition of coolest. You might think, what the heck am I doing? Why am I spraying down my R8 with my garden accessory? This is an Audi R8 V10 Plus, by the way. I don't do a lot of content with it uh, because I travel a lot. I travel all the time. I wanna do more car content. I will do more car content, and we have a chance to do a little bit today. I am driving it up to LA. We're gonna have a W weekend. And you know that one of my goals, this is a bit of a sarcastic goal, but one of my goals is to visit all of the W hotels in the world. And the reason I chose that is because if you choose a W hotel, you're gonna be in a cool city. So I figure if I hit all W's, I'm gonna find some really cool stuff. So um, it's LA Auto Week, it's LA Auto Show. We're gonna roll up in style, we're gonna roll up in this. I actually hope I can fit my suitcase in here. I haven't tried yet. I might not even leave both properties. I might not even make it to the LA Auto Show. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get up there. We're gonna do it in style. We're in San Diego right now and it is like 2.30. So we have about two and a half hours of traffic. Let's just get in this thing. See if my luggage will fit in here. Let's get to LA and let's check out these W's. We're gonna do the W Beverly Hills and then the W Hollywood. We're checking out these W's. I'm serious about that goal. All right, let's go do it. All right, so the bag fits. I felt a little bad about putting it in there on the interior, but it fits quite well. The wheels are kind of sticking up right here, so it fits. Suitcase for one in the R8. And by the way, you know, I've done some custom stuff to it. Um, the brake calipers got painted red. I did that. I uh, blacked, out the, uh, blacked out the rims, blacked out the badges. Did a lot of custom stuff. Blacked out the grill. Uh, this is definitely a one-off R8. But anyway, luggage fits. I'm going to fit. We're going to go. I'll see you in Beverly Hills. All right, there we are. Just got here. Left uh, during daylight, got here at twilight, nightlight. Beautiful cascading waterfall. Uh, steps, by the way, how cool is that? Very W-esque. Let's walk in here and see what this is like. All right, all right, so I'm gonna take you guys to a casual stroll up the lobby right now. We may never have another chance to do it. Uh, it looks like there's just kind of a seating. I like that vinyl right there. How cool is that vinyl? Uh, you know, W is very quirky, right? Very psychedelic, very trippy, um, kind of awkward. That's part of the vibe. And then the bar looked really, really cool. This is what the lobby area looks like. And then apparently, I think STK is through these doors over here. And then this is the living room, which is right behind me. And then, of course, you see beautiful STK. So STK pretty much defined or gave birth to the modern steakhouse. It was one of the first concepts where they made it dark and hip and loud music and they had a DJ and it, you could get a late reservation. This is really, really cool as well. This, this W has potential. All right, so let's get upstairs. Let's, uh, let's go check out this mega suite. Apparently it's got two bedrooms in it. And uh, I think we're going to come back down and eat here quickly and then explore some other stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I like how it has a doorbell. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. All right. Now, this is just like the virgin entry, okay? I'm gonna turn on all the lights like I always do, and then we're gonna check out this together. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. Let's see if this really is a mega suite. It is two bedroom, I guess. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on all the lights. I'm gonna get a little familiar with this room. The gym, they don't have a gym. The gym's under construction. They said they'd give me a pass to LA Fitness, which is a mile away, or they would give me a key card to like some of the equipment that's in the studio somewhere downstairs. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I might honestly just go to STK and to the living room. In fact, I think that is what I'm going to do, but let me check in here. Let me turn on these lights. I bet this room really livens up once the lights get bright. Let's do that and I'll check in in a second. All right, so when I first walked in, I felt a little bamboozled. Right, because I thought this was not the mega suite. This is the mega suite. Just so you know, this room goes for between $550 and $650 a night. We are in Beverly Hills, West Beverly Hills, and I think any hotel room at least charges a couple hundred. This is what the mega suite's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you four, five, six hundred dollars. It's a Friday night with the LA Auto Show in town, and I think this room rates for about six fifty. All right, so um, I have some mixed emotions on this room. I want to walk through it real quick. I had a chance to turn on all the lights. There's some things I like about it and some things I don't. I do like this couch. I have not sat on it yet. We'll find out if it's comfortable or not. It is not. It's one of those synthetic leather W couches that we see quite a bit. Uh, this room was marketed as a two bedroom. And I guess technically 
it is two bedrooms, and I guess technically somebody could sleep on that. However, I would not let a friend sleep on that unless they really wanted to. If I had a friend that was adamant about crashing here and said, ah, oh, James, I don't care, I'll sleep on anything, yes. Would I recommend sleeping on that? No, that is not comfortable. I do like this backlit couch. I think that's very cool. I like that LED lighting over there. This artwork is really, really cool. I like it a lot. And I like the way the light hits right off of it. Very cool. You can easily sit here and watch a football game. It's not uncomfortable, but it certainly isn't relaxing, uh, romantic, uh, you know, read a book or, you know, try to nussle with uh, one another type comfortable, it just isn't. It's very, very utilitarian. All right, this place has a ton of storage. So if you do wanna fit a bunch of people in here, if you wanna bring your family or the guys or the girls or any combination in between, this place has storage everywhere. It is functional too, right? I just found this ottoman right here, that's pretty cool. I haven't opened up these drawers, but there's a couple of them. In fact, there's six, right? So you got six drawers to put stuff away. Um, you can always store stuff on the back of that lighting. This desk has some outlets, these chairs, again, are just for decoration. I mean, you're in the W. If you really wanna get some work done, this is not the place to be, all right? These chairs are not comfortable. We have a mini bar. Uh, this mini bar, actually, check out this. It's malfunctioning, but I kinda like it. Kinda disco-y, right? Kinda like that. All right, don't mind if I do. Regular Pepsi. How I've missed you. Not a lot of feng shui in this room. In fact, I'd give the feng shui a failing grade, it just isn't, it's boxy. I think this hotel has some age to it. They've done the best they could. I do like the accent wall. Um, let's walk into this bathroom. Again, W bathrooms, because they were built back in the 90s, 2000s, because they do have a couple of decades on them now, they're a little small. This is a single bathroom. It's not as small as the W Lakeshore bathroom. That bathroom, just by recollection, is the smallest W bathroom I've ever seen. This one is not very large. There are some things I do like about it. I crack this Pepsi. Ooh, that's, a, that's a symphonic sound right there. All right, so one thing I've just noticed, and this actually happened while I was in the W in Miami, and I think it happened during my stay. I think they're going away or have gone away from Bliss products. I've seen Bliss products in the W since I've been going to the Ws, and now I'm seeing different products, more upscale type products, better branded products. This is called Momo. Right, we're always used to seeing those teal, turquoise, bluish bliss products. And then these are, I don't even know what these are. These aren't even really branded, I don't think. Okay, but I am seeing different products here in the W. I do like the exterior sink. The wallpaper's a little cringy and it's peeling, but I do think some darker wallpaper could probably be better here. And one thing I do like about the W is why they're so quirky and cool. All right, they just market things well. Backup plan, right? They're just, just they're smart. Okay, so let's move on to the bedroom. It's boxed off. They've done a good job for what they could do with it. I like the lights over there. The lights are dimmable. Uh, really, I guess the main, the main function and the main predominance of the room is the bed. Let's check it out. So this is that soft W bed. This reminds me of the Miami Fort Lauderdale. I give it a five, right? So I mean, pretty soft, pretty soft. If number one is on a cloud and number 10 is, is pretty firm, this would be a Five. I like how they brought another TV in here. Uh, they obviously were just like, hey, look, we can't mount this TV anywhere. Um, this doesn't have any wheels or rollers on it either. So it's kind of fixed right there. And you're really limited by the cords about how, how far you can pull it out. That's my initial impression of the W Beverly Hills. We're checking off these Ws one by one. I was serious when I made that video. We're going to every single W. There were 55 when I made that video. I don't remember how many I've been to, maybe 10? Maybe, maybe. So I'm uh, maybe about 20% of the way there approximately. But I know they're making more now. It was just in Toronto and they told me that they're making one in Toronto. So W, just relax. I wanna get to all of them before you're making more. But uh, we're checking off two in this weekend. This is gonna be a double. This is gonna be a double trouble. Two for the price of one, double the fun. But as of right now, I'm gonna get changed. Now let's go down to the living room and let's go get some food.
great marbling on the steak. And then I went over on the menu, I showed you the menu already, what is on it. Here we have the lobster ravioli, okay? And then here we have what looks like a steak, but this is not a steak. This is actually nuski bacon, okay? So we have the tartare, the ravioli, and then the bacon. All right, All right. SDK update. And before I get to my SDK update, this hotel is pet friendly, by the way. I just met the coolest golden doodle. I met it twice at the elevator. Once on the way down to SDK and then once on the way up. Um, like this golden doodle and I are like kindred spirits. I, I would, honestly, that dog is amazing. All right, enough about the random golden doodle. Let me talk about uh, SDK. It is an SDK. Um, it's not a fake SDK. If you've been to SDK, you know what I'm talking about. There are like some fake SDKs and some real SDKs. This is a legitimate SDK. You get the SDK menu, uh, has, has a great wine list, great food. As you saw, I did the lobster ravioli, I did the steak tartare, and then I also did the Nooski bacon. Typically, the bacon is my favorite, and steak tartare is always my favorite. This is why you watch the channel, and this is why you listen to me, because I'm always gonna give it to you straight. I'm gonna give it to you straight. Lobster ravioli, absolute definite. Uh, absolutely amazing. It transcended the other two. I would say the lobster ravioli, the new ski thick cut bacon was amazing, and then third was the lowly steak tartare. Frankly, it just wasn't that well done. It looked beautiful, it had great marbling to it, had the right colors, had the right texture. It just wasn't the regular STK steak tartare. And even the lady said, we do it differently than the other STKs. I think what they did is they took out the egg. Okay, so that may sound gross. Okay, if you don't eat like, like I eat, or if you don't eat steak tartare, steak tartare is raw meat and also has an egg on top of it, a raw egg, you mix it in, that's just what steak tartare is. Trust me, it's an acquired taste. I'm a long way away from the Wisconsin kid who never had steak tartare before, all right? But I've grown into it, just like you grow into wine or grow into a cigar, and it just wasn't that good. It just wasn't. So if you're coming to this place, the steaks are always gonna be good. It's STK. I mean, it's in the name. It's actually just an abbreviation. So you can get, you can get a steak, um, and, and, and I invite you to do that, but I've been to so many, I wanted to switch it up. So I did the steak tartare, the lobster ravioli, and then of course the Nooski bacon. Ravioli number one, bacon number two. Can't go wrong with both, both were amazing. And then number three was the steak tartare. The bread, somewhere near the top. I will stick by what I said. I've never had better steakhouse bread in my life than STK. If you've been to an STK, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It has the blue cheese on it and it has like the, um, what is it, the chive uh, dipping sauce. It is so good. Right, I'm heading back down to the living room and I will check in later. All right, all right, time for breakfast. I swear I'm quitting caffeine, I swear. All right, so we are out of here. We are out of the W Beverly Hills, and you can do it in a day. Not that like hotels are destinations for people. I mean, hotels are a huge part of this channel. I always say, if you find yourself in a nice hotel, you're gonna find yourself in a pretty cool spot. There's gonna be other things to do, which is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm up here for the LA Auto Show, but even if I wasn't, I mean, I'm in Beverly Hills, and you're definitely gonna find some fun stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff in this area. W Beverly Hills. W Beverly Hills, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a pass. Um, it's a W. I think what it has going for it is its experience. And that's really what a lot of the W's are, is, is are. Um, the experience and experiences. Excellent lobby. When you walk in, the very first impression is great. Very trendy, very quirky, very cool. You saw it with the cascading waterfall, rainbow, neon steps. Definitely very W. Uh, it has an STK in it. I know that SDK may not be what it once was, but you still have to give respect to where respect is due. It really pioneered a theme that you see at a lot of steakhouses now. It pioneered it. Um, you know, that and Boa and places like that. They were way ahead of the game. And now you're seeing these places all over. But back in the day, a dark steakhouse with loud music and a DJ and a younger crowd just wasn't around. And uh, you got to give respect to that. Great living room bar. I liked how they had the booths compartmentalized, quarantine sectioned off. Very tall corner chairs, if you want to call them a love seat. And it really gave it a private type feel. And that was really cool. I haven't really seen that in a lot of W's yet. And I really liked how you could get the STK menu at the living room bar. And I also like how they flowed into each other. That was really cool. And um, definitely a place to be. Um, 
dog friendly ran into a couple dogs which is awesome i'm gonna start filming more of the dogs i run into by the way because these dogs are amazing just meet some great dogs you know this is a mega suite uh it, you know it goes between four and 650 a night it's it's not worth it just to be frank with you I, I, you know i give the room a pass rating i get that we're in beverly hills i get that we're, it's a weekend and i get this is a mega suite but it, but if you were to buy it for the for the regular price of 400 to 650 it just isn't worth it it's not um i will show you one thing that i like very very quickly as i put down my breakfast so here's what i liked the bed was pretty comfortable for being a soft w bed it was really good and i also liked how the shades were able to block out the light uh we are in la it does get sunny it does get warm and i actually thought it was a dreary day outside until i opened up the, the blinds and i was surprised pleasantly surprised and it is a beautiful day so it gets pretty dark in here and also you can shut the door that is i guess probably a benefit if you're here for a wedding or here for some people and you're actually using the suite the way it was meant to be i'm just a single guy in the suite so it's probably overkill for me but if you are using it the way it's meant to be uh, whether it's for entertaining or if you're here for a destination or something like that it is really cool you can shut the door and have complete privacy it's a little weird and a little wacky like i'm not sure what this used to be you know this opens up right to the tv right there barely it's just a little off you know, it just doesn't quite seal the deal for me. One thing I did not like that I'm highly critical of is the bathroom. Okay, so one thing I did like, and again, I mentioned this earlier yesterday, is that these new products right here, these new Momo products, I like the branding better than the Bliss products. Can I say that they're better than Bliss? I can't because I haven't used them enough. I did use them this morning, all right? And uh, I don't know, hair looks okay. But the, the Bliss products are definitely long in a tooth like a lot of W's were and are. And this is a great upgrade. And I know that they're putting more money back into W's now that Marriott bought them. And I'm looking forward to seeing what more little details they enhance. This was a great start. Bathroom is too small. I, I actually was frustrated and probably couldn't spend more than one or two nights here. Two nights would be a stretch. Again, I had to put like, there's nowhere to put your stuff. So if you carry a travel tote or a travel bag or anything, um, you would not be able to, where are you gonna put it? You're not gonna be able to put it anywhere. So that's one thing I did not like. The bathroom is really, really small. The tub is a little old. You can see it's a little rusty down there. Um, the wallpaper is peeling a little bit. And it's just typical with W. So I'm not gonna be too overly critical, too highly critical, but uh, certainly, certainly could use an upgrade, which they are doing. So I'm gonna give it a pass. I mean, this entertainment room is really, really cool. Love this artwork. I like how they put the new modern LEDs right there. Um, a couple notes in closure is that I will say that there is a little street noise in the morning. So be aware of that. If you're looking for absolute, complete solitude and serenity, may not be the place for you. I mean, it is a W, uh, but the street noise, I, I did hear that. And there's a church somewhere, um, at least you know, talking to a Catholic school kid, which explains a lot, by the way. Uh, I swear there were church bells and they're going off on the hour since like at least 8 or 9 a.m. Certainly 9. Uh, I'm not really too sure about 8, but uh, they were going off and they were loud. Really, really loud. And they will awake you. Okay? They will awaken you. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a pass. And I do like the overall space. I mean, if you need to stay at the W and you want to be here, if you're a W aficionado, if you're checking them all off like I am, it, it, it was a decent experience, but overall, uh, I would say that uh, it just gets a pass rating for me, which is pretty much as bare bones as it gets. So, so this is a Friday night. This is a weekend hotel. This is not a long stay hotel by any means. Um, and I'm really not sure a lot of W hotels are long stay hotels, but this one is certainly a weekend hotel. But if you wanna do a fun weekend in Beverly Hills, this may be the spot for you. Let's go check out the Hollywood one. All right, let's go. All right, so I wanna say one thing. Actually, I wanna say two things. Number one, left my cash in here last night and it's still in here. Uh, so I tipped them for that. That's actually really cool. Not that you should ever expect it to be stolen, but uh, I left it in there and I think that's a sign of an upstanding organization, upstanding people. Number two, there's the culprit. There's that church that was going off every single hour on the hour. So be aware of that. Make sure you wear earplugs or make sure you like church bells and make sure you're up early. W Hollywood, like the, uh, I like the string lights. Very Tinseltown. Let's walk up here. It's actually pretty beautiful in here. All right, I'm gonna check in. So as I commented, this place is beautiful. I'm just gonna walk up here real quick. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour while I'm waiting for my room. My room isn't gonna be ready until four. It's about three o'clock right now. Um, 
little beautiful sitting area right here. So I like the L couches. I like the red carpet. I'm really not sure where this goes. And you can see the view. I may very well say that this is like the coolest W lobby I've been to thus far. We're gonna head out there and see what that is like. How cool is this up here? Okay, so we got some cool paintings. Looks like you have another sitting area right here. Meeting rooms down there. Let's walk down here. That is really cool. And I like the black and white. The red carpet is very Hollywood-esque. And then this, uh, this suspended bridge. It's awesome. That's where we are. We are on our way to room 401. Fantastic suite. The lifts are right here. Let's see what this Fantastic Suite is all about. Man, I'm hoping it's cool. As I've said before, nothing cooler than the W elevator. Just saying. Really wide hallways. I like wide hallways. It usually means the rooms are a little larger when the hallways are bigger. It's an end suite. That's usually a good sign. Look how rad this place is. Sweet. Hell yeah. Whoa. And then we come around here into the bedroom. I'm gonna turn on all these lights. I'm pretty excited. You know, you can tell this is, whoa, and then the bathroom sneaks around here. Okay. This has W potential here. This is what I'm talking about, W. You've delivered. All right, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I knew the W Hollywood. Well, actually, I didn't know. But um, really, really cool geometries in here. Let me try to open this place up as much as possible. It's getting dark. It's about 445. But a, view, a beautiful view of Hollywood Boulevard. Um, let me try to turn on all these lights. I don't want to fuddle through it. And um, I'm going to get everything going on in here and I'm going to give you guys a tour. All right, so I've had a chance to settle in just a little bit. It's twilight here. There's a Capitol Records building. Beautiful view. Uh, again, this is Hollywood Boulevard. And this is the heart of the city. And what an amazing location. Um, let me get to this room very, very quickly. <laughs> I walked in. I was so jubilant. I thought this is one of those electric fireplaces. I think it's just the mirror. I'm pretty sure it's just the mirror. I tried to turn it on and it was really embarrassing and then I found out that it didn't turn on. What a beautiful room. You can hear the acoustics it has, awesome views, and I like the feng shui, it's, it's, it's awesome. Um, it's a little complicated. It took me a while to turn on all the lights. It is a W, so a lot of floor lights and a lot of freestanding lights besides the chandelier right here. And I love this huge couch, right? Um, it doesn't look like it's like the most comfortable, but I do like it. I also like it how it has space up here where you can sit. You can just sit up here, you can just chill, you can put stuff up here, I like that. So you see how the shades go up and down. There you go. And again, I like this, uh, it's like a dark brown. It looks black right now, but it's dark brown. Huge windows, again, beautiful view of the Capitol Records building and of Hollywood Boulevard. Let's see what this couch is like. You can easily sleep two people here if you wanted to. Yeah, it's not bad. Definitely a place you can have some breakfast at. Um, it's nice and white and new. So we have our coffee maker down there. Typical mini bar. Look at these really radical. I mean like the epitome of radical. Some radical t-shirts if you wanna take one. This is the first hotel where I've seen you can take a t-shirt home. And uh, they're pretty cool, right? They're pretty, pretty cool. Uh, mini bar, there we go. And then we have some trouble in here, I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's trouble in there. Oh, there's a Diet Pepsi. That Diet Pepsi is happening. Sharp angle right here, but then it just kind of sneaks into the bedroom right here. And another TV, which is awesome. Uh, nice desk. Let's check out and see if we get some work done on this thing. This is a perfect work chair. Um, comfortable, but not too comfortable. That's what I've talked about before on the channel. It's really nice. Nice soft lighting right here. TV. It does cover up the TV a little bit though which is kind of weird, but I'll let it pass. Uh, another view of Hollywood Boulevard. Love this angular view. It comes to a nice sharp 45 degree angle right here. Um, I do like the dual lights right by the bed. And then you can see how this sneaks into the bathroom. It's almost like it's a very mysterious type of room, okay? It's very, very mysterious where you walk in here and you really don't know where to go, all right? And then you just see this, this little crevice, this little sliver, right? This little window right here. Then you get into it and then it takes you onto the, to the bedroom and then you're in the bedroom and then this little window crevice takes you in to the bathroom and then the bathroom takes you into the toilet right here, right? And it's modern and it's great. 
And as I've said in W's before, make sure you're very comfortable if you're staying with somebody because W's are very trendy, very quirky, very cool, and also very open. Looks like they've made the switch over to those mobile products, which we saw basically in Beverly Hills. Look at how huge these are. A handful, literally a handful worth of skin products. Uh, you can shine your shoes, a makeup remover, two makeup removers, a mending kit, shower cap, a shaving kit, a dental kit, single sink, recessed lighting on the mirror, I like that. And then here you have some privacy. And if you're gonna have some privacy in the W, at least you get it in the actual bathroom. So as I kind of foreshadowed before, when I was downstairs walking around and in the bar, all this room had to do was deliver to make this my favorite W. And it's almost like I don't have to do the rest of the trip because it's already the standout W in my mind. Okay, let's check out the bed. I like this, it says Dream Harder, which is very, very cool. I like the pillow. Let's see what the buzzwords are on here. The breakup, the worst, high loss, 50 pounds, is she serious? So this is obviously a tabloid type of pillow, which is really cool. And then you have uh, this headboard, which is awesome. So you can just chill like this. It's actually really, really comfortable. Pretty supple, uh, pretty comfortable. Yeah, this is the W bed. This is the bed that's with basically all the hotels. It's very soft. It's like a four or a five. I mean, it's, it's pretty pillowy and pretty plush. Uh, but again, it's California and you want to have that tranquil, soft, supple type experience and they definitely delivered on that. This headboard is very clean. The couch is very clean. Um, they've kept this room very modern. This is a modern W. I'm gonna go check out the gym. I'm gonna settle in. I'm gonna get my bags undone and then I'm gonna check in later. But uh, W Hollywood. Excited to be here. All right, all right, quick hotel update for you guys. I just took an amazing nap. It was awesome. I'm kind of liking these softer mattresses at the W for one reason. It's really easy to relax and it's different from my home space. You know, when you go on vacation, you want a different experience. You want a different mentality and you want an escape, an experience. And uh, when you sleep on a different mattress, I sleep on firm mattresses and you sleep on a soft one, it changes things up a little bit. Diet Pepsi in here somewhere. Oh yes, boom. Anyway, cheers. Remember when I thought there was a fireplace? Yeah, pretty hilarious, right? I almost just want to stay in the room the entire night because it's so beautiful. Again, this is this is a phenomenal location. We're in Hollywood and Vine right there. Okay, you can see Hollywood and Vine. There's the theater right there. People are lining up. This is a very, very it spot. It's an amazing location. And if you want to stay in a premium location in Hollywood, I think that you should absolutely consider this hotel. If you've seen my reactions thus far, you probably know I'm gonna rate this hotel. I like the energy from all the people. It's a very happening spot. It is Hollywood. You're gonna come across some characters. There is some street noise that is emanating and wafting uh, right there. I'm on the fourth level. I mean, there's a CVS, there's the theater. Uh, I, I can't mention enough. This is prime Hollywood real estate, all right? So uh, I'm gonna find out where the gym is. I'm not necessarily sure which floor it's on. And then I'm gonna do some reconnaissance and find out where the pool is as well. I think we'll check out the pool if it's open tomorrow morning. I think we'll get up really early and go check that out. And then it's back to reality, unfortunately. But while we're here, they're just basking this amazing room. Again, this is the fantastic suite at the W. It's a corner room. I think it's about a thousand square feet, 880 if you wanna get specific about it. I believe it's 880. And uh, I almost just don't wanna go. I'm only here for one night. I kinda just wanna stay right here. But we have to, but we have to. And I'm doing this for you. Uh, I'm doing this for us. We have to go check it out. And maybe next time we'll just chill in the room. All right, guys, 11th floor fit. We are here at the W. No one here at 845 at night except me. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, here's a quick tour of the fitness facility. Full length mirrors. Uh, we have legs right here. A vast array of cardio equipment. It's really jam packed in here. So even if it does get busy, you're probably gonna be able to find a cardio machine. We have two benches here. Weights up to 45, all right? Looks like someone stole the 50s. Little bench right here if you're working out and you're waiting for a partner. Uh, looks like we have some abs, some chest, some shoulders. Again, we have some ellipticals, some treadmills, a couple bikes over there, and it is elevated here. There is some separation and some uniquity to the cardio. I kind of like that. Uh, we do have a view out here, not of much, but we do have a window view. And then, again, full length mirrors everywhere, so the light comes in probably during the day very nicely. And then, uh, really nice polished wood. This wood is really, really beautiful. Like what we found here. Like what we found, of course, like we find in every single W. Speed bag right there. And then someone took, stole, or lost the, uh, the bag. 
but I'm not sure what it is with the W's. We've talked about this before. What is the infatuation and fascination with punching bags and boxing gear? Uh, I'm not hating on it, but I mean, what a beautiful space, polished wood, full length mirror. And this could be used for so much more. Yoga, aerobic, uh, Pilates, put a couple Pelotons in here. What a beautiful, beautiful space that is wasted. Um, they probably took it out and probably actually probably hold classes in here or do something, but I like how it's separated and you could do something different in here and be away from it. So again, this is on floor number 11. I'm gonna work out, probably just do some of this stuff and then we're gonna go eat at Delphine. So just got out of the shower, just got done getting ready, you know, came back from the gym. And one thing I do like is that you can control the amount of sunlight. You have these blackout drapes and then you have just the sheer drapes right here. If you just wanna block out a certain section of the room, if the sun is coming in one way or you just wanna block out this, you can do that. So what you do is you click your compartment and then you go up. So right now we have that going up and then you can do them simultaneously, I believe. Yes, you can. But we do have places right across the street right here and you can see right into their apartment. So probably a good idea to close these shades. This room is set up for a lot of people. And by the way, there's a recording studio and a screening room on site here at the W. I will put those links in the description. But how cool is that? If you want to fly in and you just want to stay and record in the same place, you can do that. If you want to see a private um, screening for your favorite film, you can do that here. Pretty cool. But in terms of W's, it's probably the best. Spoiler, probably the best. It obliterates the W Beverly Hills. I'm not even thinking about that. Uh, I'd say W Miami, W Minneapolis is good, but there's no comparison. This one's phenomenal. The only thing I can find as a fault is that the bathroom only has one vanity. Okay, it only has one sink. All right, so I feel that this whole room is set up for a lot of people entertaining, huge couches, a fantastic suite, but where's the second uh, vanity? It's kind of small. That's the really only downfall, the really only detriment I can find. I'm down to dinner at Delphine, let's go check in there. Last dinner call apparently is at 11, I'll check in there, and then I'll check in when I check in. All right, I'm out. And I really like this W menu. Take a look at this. I mean, they have the smoked turkey on pumpernickel. Boom. Truffle cheese fries. Boom. Double cheeseburger. Boom. Bavarian pretzel with cheese with mustard. Boom. I mean, I, I kind of want to order everything. Right, so here is the risotto, English pea, mushroom, and Parmesan. It's got some beautiful color on it. The peas are really green. It looks to be a decent sized portion. I would actually call this more of an app portion than I would a meal. So this is pretty decent. Um, it's really mushroom forward. Uh, it has a lot of mushroom presence, so I ate about a third of it. Um, it's not bad. Uh, it just, it's kind of bland. So what I'm gonna do is move over to the roasted mushroom sandwich. And what this looks like to me is almost like an American take on a cheese and onion sandwich, which is one of my favorite British dishes. Pickled onion, aged gouda, and then mushroom and truffle aioli. So I think that's like the American version of it. So I stopped halfway, they want to get filled. We're gonna go with that. And then look at these desserts. I mean, my eyes are really, really big right now, but also looking at that sweet corn creme brulee. Might happen. Amazing menu. Not the largest, but really, really great choices. All right, so here is the short rib. Looks like it's buried underneath here. There it is. And it is able to be cut with a fork or a spoon. You can see it steaming off there. And then here we have the cheddar mash. Here's the short rib. It's wine braised for eight hours. Uh, Pepperdale, shaved Asiago, and roasted vegetables. And then we have the mashed cheddar bacon and green onions. All right, I'm going in. Uh, so far, the star of the show would be the cheddar mash. It almost is a bit gritty to it. Um, really creamy, but then just sprinkled with cheddar, but still like really cheddary. And then here we have the mushroom sandwich. What I'm going to do is take off these tops as I always do and stack it on top of each other because that is a lot of bread. The fries came out very McDonald's-esque, which is a huge compliment. Every time you get McDonald's fries, to me, it's they're like well done. So I'm gonna take off these tops and then uh, we'll get back to it. Okay, as I'm finishing up, I'm gonna say my favorite was the, the mash. I almost called it the grits, but it is the mash. Number two, I'm gonna put at the short rib, and number three, I'm gonna put at this sandwich. It was okay. Um, pretty bread intensive. And also not, not a lot of sustenance. Even when I snacked together, it was still really, really bread forward. So I'd say if you're looking for the best meal, it is $12. Right, right, the piece de resistance. Here we have the sweet corn 
creme brulee. Let's take a look at this. It's been sitting for a little bit. Had a great conversation with the bartender. Still crackable. All right, still crackable. And it's sweet corn, uh, which is blueberry, candy, cherry blossom, and biscotti. Could never in my life. I think it'd have sweet corn, creme brulee. It's delicious. Could be the dish of the night. The creme brulee and the mash were unparalleled. Those are by far the best. The other ones kind of ran together. The short rib was good. You can always tell a good short rib if you can cut it with a spoon or a fork. If you have to cut your short rib with a knife, you have ordered the wrong short rib. So it was over salted. Uh, the mushroom sandwich, I fought. I was hoping it was gonna be a cheese and onion sandwich. I'm obsessed with English cheese and onion sandwiches. It's in my top 10 of all time. All time. Love a cheese and onion sandwich. That's what I thought it was going to be. When I looked at the menu, that's what I thought. And it wasn't, right? It was, uh, it's really just a mushroom sandwich, which was actually not that good. Risotto was actually probably one of the better dishes. I would take the risotto and the short rib. Eh, it's debatable. Um, you probably get me on mood. Looking back at it, now that I'm removed from the situation, I think the risotto was actually as good as the short rib. So risotto, short rib, mushroom sandwich, we're all kind of meh. Um, but I will say that the sweet corn creme brulee, and I'm gonna say two things. I'm gonna get to the other thing where I'm gonna pivot away from this Duffing experience in a second. I'm gonna say two things I never thought I'd ever say before in my life. Two things. First one, sweet corn creme brulee? What? Never in my life did I think I'd ever have sweet corn creme brulee, and it was exceptional. It was, it was a star of the show, and I had it at the end. It was absolutely amazing. It is a definite, if you go to Duffing, sweet corn creme brulee. Uh, to pivot away from the restaurant experience and kind of recap for tonight, when I walked in this room, I'm gonna say something that sounds really peculiar saying, this room smells amazing. Like the scents they have are phenomenal. And scents are kind of coming back around, right? You're seeing scents in Mercedes Benz and you're seeing lavender scented pillows. We saw some lavender scent in the Westin in Milwaukee. Like fragrances I feel like are becoming more and more powerful and it is the strongest scents tied to memory. So it makes sense that uh, they are becoming more hip and more modern. When I walked into this room, this is not the newest hotel, but man, does it smell amazing. This hotel room is the best smelling hotel room I've ever smelled in my entire life. It's like a fresh scent meets a new car scent, just meets like some scent I can't place, but it is, it, is, it smells amazing. This is, I didn't have to see the pool tomorrow. It is already the best W I've ever been to. Now we've only seen, I said what, 20% we have a lot more to see however from what I've seen there's no comparison it is not only the number one it is undebatable number one the lower second class I'd say the second class ones the Miami um, the Miami one comes to mind London is a really really nice W but it is not it is not uh, as good as this one so Miami and London are great W's they are standouts uh, Miami and London and Hollywood are the best three I've been to thus far. We've done some really, really nice ones, but the Hollywood one is leaps and bounds. Now, I won't say that those are the best cities to go to. I'm comparing the hotel to the hotel. Again, this is hotel versus hotel. I'm not saying that Hollywood is better than Miami or London is a better destination. That's for you to decide. You're gonna find something amazing in each city. What I'm talking about is the property in which you stay and judged against each other, this, this property is, is exceptional. It is, it is It is. amazing. What a great hotel. That's kind of where I left off last night. This is one of the few hotels where it's only been a day and I'm actually really disappointed to check out because I know this hotel has a lot more to offer. I can see myself relaxing in this hotel and enjoying this hotel. And we just did this hotel. We didn't even step out into Hollywood, right? We didn't do any pizza detective. We didn't do any proper pubs. We didn't do any rooftop stuff. We didn't do any anything. Let's get these going up this morning. So you hit that and you hit that and then you hit that. And that gets all three going up. Let's see if we can do it in the other room and get some breakfast real quick. So it's the same deal. You just cl you click the compartment, right? So you, that you want to go up, and then this to go up, and then this to go up. And let's see if that did it. It did. So a beautiful morning here in Hollywood, and I did not sleep the best. There is a, some foot traffic. And this is Hollywood. I mean, Hollywood is one of those cities like New York or like Miami or like Vegas. You're gonna get some wild stuff. And wild has a range that it can be anything, okay? Um, and there were some people on the street last night, they were fighting, they were screaming. 
most likely highly, highly intoxicated. I mean, I could hear it from the fourth level up here with these insulated glass windows. That's how loud it was. Listen, you're in the heart of Hollywood, okay? That doesn't surprise me. I'm not mad. I won't take anything off the score. But I will say, uh, I was not able to sleep, so I took a double sedative, and now it's not 6.30, it's 8. So we're a little behind where we wanted to be on the day. But it happens. If you want to be in the heart of Hollywood, uh, this is where you want to be. You want to be at the W Hotel, Capitol Records building, there's Hollywood and Vine. Uh, you got the theater right there, the Frolic Room, all these places that you've heard and seen. Um, it, it's all right here. And that doesn't take away from it at all. In fact, if there isn't a little bit of that, if there isn't a little bit of trouble, and if there isn't a little bit of hijinks, or if there's a little riffraff on the street, you really not get your true Hollywood experience. So that comes to the territory, and I knew that going ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a pass. But if you are a light sleeper, just be aware that there's gonna be some foot traffic, and you are gonna get some ambient sounds. I actually thought I'd be hearing ambient sounds like the W Miami or W Chicago, which were very, very aggressive um, guests, where you're hearing doors slam left and right up till like three, four o'clock in the morning. Frankly, I didn't hear any of that. It was probably the quietest and classiest W Hotel from that regard. The way that the sounds reverberate throughout this hotel are managed very, very well. You're, you're living in Hollywood for a day or night or two, and if you want that experience, then you have to experience this hotel. Uh, I would definitely stay in this one over the one in Beverly Hills. The one in Beverly Hills was just too isolated. It was next to that church. The church was as loud as the street person was. Uh, it was a great experience. If you need to be on that side of town, check it out but it's not even in the same conversation as this W. Now they are far apart. I think they're about six miles apart, maybe even a little bit more, about 30 minutes over the weekend. So it, they're not necessarily next door, but you know, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, really two cities synonymous with Los Angeles. And if you're trying to figure out which one you want to be in, this is a W, they are both Ws. You want to go where the Ws are the most fun, the most pleasant, give you the best experience. It is the W Hollywood. But I definitely want to come back and experience more of it. Even in the summer, I want to go check out the pool right now because if that is something, that offers either even a whole nother attribute to what I already call the best W I've been to thus far. So without any further time, let's go up there, 12th floor, and uh, see what the California morning is like. Now, this is almost December, okay? So if there is anybody up there in entirety, um, I would be surprised and we're not gonna do any you know tanning or swimming or drinks or anything like that but let's just go up there and see what it's like and then we can imagine what it may be like when summer hits here downtown la hollywood here we are we are up here that is actually not too cold here's uh one view of hollywood right so this is your more industrious side yeah so this isn't the best view i'm sure the sunshine galore but not the best views but these cabanas all have tvs right i'll have a refrigerator somewhat comfortable for being an outside cabana and then you also have a ton of, uh, of lounge space that just walks around this place. Pool's heated. So you could come up here right now and swim if you wanted to. They have a couple showers here for you right here. So this is your Hollywood pool scene. And it looks like they might even spin up there and stuff like that. And I bet you they do. I mean, hey, this is a W Hollywood. You could do some laps in here. I mean, it's not really designed to be a lap pool. It's more designed to be a social party pool. But it's long enough if you want to get your lap on. So that is it, everyone. That is the W pool. Which is really nice. Really good. I'm going to head back down to the room. I may have some final thoughts. I need to get in my car. I need to pack. We need to get back to San Diego. But I will say that this W Hollywood for the last time is an absolute definite and my favorite thus far unequivocally unparalleled.